Peggy 18. It was 2009, uh, towards the end of when we were finishing Dragon Age Origins, when myself, uh, Matt Goldman, and Mike Layla started to get together on a weekly basis to talk about the directions we wanted to take the franchise, and the things we wanted to explore if we had a chance to do so. We built a uh, kind of a cartoon animatic of what we would like to be in the game if we were going to really pull out the stops and do whatever we wanted. It's actually very much like the beginning of the game. There's a conversation wheel, there's a dragon airstrike, you're a cool, badass warrior with spiky armor chopping her locks in half by the millions. It was exciting. It was like, wow, man, can we actually pull that off? Can we feel like the party works together to demolish foes rather than having their disparate abilities? So brainstorming with the core leads on Dragon Age is pretty exhilarating. I really love to lead him astray with uh, crazy ideas. Every time we would talk, I'd start talking about how every piece of our art would involve Ulrich von Hawk, the, the lickanthrope character of our game, howling and like tasting his own blood. Uh, anyways, it kind of got out of control after a while, so I had to, had to drop it. But it was pretty fun while it lasted. You know, the final beautiful touch of it was when we said, what if we could tell a story that was more personal? And that's where the idea of Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall, and that rise to power over a decade of history came out. Where Origins really shone by having this huge epilogue that had thousands of variations based on the choices you've made. Instead, we've moved that into the gameplay. People you've interacted with at the beginning of the game are going to have their kind of situations profoundly affected by their interaction with Hawk, your character. If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. There might be something I could do for you if you're looking for company later. You re-interact with them. You see how that worked out. So we believe it may be our most reactive game to date. So here we were. We finished these brainstorming sessions. There's a lot of stuff on the whiteboards. There's a lot of pie-in-the-sky ideas. And then Dragon Age Origins came out, and it beat all of our expectations. Perfect scores, the VGA awards. We also had a bunch of uh, meta reviews, you know, comments coming in about Origins. And what really resonated for me was this resounding theme that Origins was an amazing story-based classical RPG, but that there were elements of it that, that seemed to be dragging. If you're telling a dark fantasy, you don't want combat to feel like you're playing a chess game with a friend. So that seemed to be the reviews. No one was really panning the game to me. It lets you have this cool tactical experience, and uh, obviously the story was intense, you know, well-loved. But the question for me was, is there any way that we could just take the RPG concepts, the very core tenets of it, and move it forward into a newer feel, something that would work as well on the consoles as it did on PC? We've really stuck to our vision. We've kept what was good about Origins and shaved off the edges and made something really unique. Matt wanted much more composed imagery, places that played up the character. I wanted combat that felt like it wasn't silently rolling dice behind the scenes, that felt like when I was pushing a button it was responding and, and my characters were responding accordingly. But because it looks faster, because it's got a character with a voice, because of this historical story we're going to do, it ran the risk of people saying, oh my god, that is so different. I'm not sure it's for me. And we, we knew that would be a potential problem. But at the same time, we also knew that the game we were designing was not one that would actually alienate them. So what we've been very open with is letting people go hands-on. And the big thing we saw is that people, even people who loved Origins, people who came wearing armor from Origins, were playing the game and going, oh, oh wow, I see what you did here. It's, it's, it's almost hard to communicate how much this game still feels like Origins, despite feeling completely different. We're trying to make a game that we would love to play. We have the best in the biz running their teams and working really hard together to make this thing come true. Even when Origins was nearing completion, we had already started thinking about Dragon Age 2. We'd already begun sharpening that axe. So the moment they took the, took the blinders off and said, OK, go, we knew exactly what we were making. We knew the exact vision we were trying to bring to the player.